Lately, there is arm wrestling lifting competition going among elite level pullers. Everyone tries to show how badass and how strong they are. Yet, most of the time, these liftings out doesn't mean any shit when it comes to arm wrestling. And best example for that recent match of Irakli and John Berzenk. And despite all the record lifting he has, Irakli was almost going to die while pulling John. On the other hand, of course, there are some couple liftings that increase individuals' arm wrestling strength. And one of the best one is back pressure training with machine or free weights. Lewan did that with 100 kilo, Zawo did that with 100 kilo, Ernest did that with 102 kilo, and Irakli did that with 106 kilo. But except Ernest, rest of them liftings were not even back pressure. Because Zaur, Levan and Irakli lift that while their knuckles are literally facing against the ceiling. Upright position allows you to load that weight, not your muscle, but on your bones. When you keep open that angle while you lift, it's become harder and harder. I don't usually say stuff like that, but I can lift the same weight in a couple of months with less body weight with that angle. I lifted 71 kilo at my second try. It actually isn't hard as you imagine. It's actually tendon conditioning more than back pressure. And if you don't believe me, you can test for yourself and see the difference between two angles. Hermes' lift was the hardest one in all of them. His arm was closest to 90 degree. And compared to Levan, Zaur and Irakli, Hermes is much more stronger on this lift. If Irakli would try this like Hermes did, his number would decrease significantly. Best example for this exercise order to see how to perform decently, Vitalik Daletin 60 kilo back pressure. It was so clean and weight was lifted start to finish with his brachioradialis and his biceps. People will be mad at me for making this video and said stuff like that, but forgive me pals, yes, arm wrestling is all about partial and half reps, but still you need to be in certain angle, so only that way it transferred to arm wrestling. Otherwise, it's just the bone and tendon conditioning. Anyways, guys, I wanted to make this video after saw all those back pressure videos. Thank you for watching and share what you think in the comment section and we can all talk about it.